Hey, this is Nathan from Yonder Studio, and in this video, I will be sharing my impressions of the Drill Log 0.5 millimeter dip pen. I've seen several reviews of this pen online, although most of the reviews focus on how this pen performs as a writing pen. Myself, being an illustrator, I'll be focusing on how it performs as a drawing pen. So I was provided with a 0.5 millimeter nib and their classic aluminum pen barrel. And so as you'll see here, the classic aluminum pen barrel is rather short and my hands are on the larger side, but even so I have a hard time imagining that most people would find this length a comfortable length to draw or write with. So to get around this, they do offer a line of pen barrels that they're calling graft. And so this is advertised as a way to customize their other pen barrels, but also as a, as a way of lengthening those pen barrels. So as you can see here, once I made that combination, I was able to get the pen barrel uh, to a length that was comfortable to work with. The nib itself is made of solid stainless steel and it's got some weight to it. So once the lightweight aluminum pen barrels are attached, it really does bring the, the pen to a, a comfortable weight. You can also see that with the graft pen barrel, it gives you the ability to screw the cap onto the back. This also brings it to a nice length. All right, so let's move on to a drawing sample. For this sample, I'm using Strathmore's 400 series Bristol board with Noodler's X Feather Black Fountain Pen Ink. And you're going to want to use fountain pen inks with this pen. Your typical sort of drawing inks or drafting inks are going to be a little too thick for this nib. Uh, it's sort of like a glass pen, and so you know you want a nice watery ink that is able to flow through the inset areas of the nib. You can see here that I was actually able to get a bit of line variation depending on the angle that I was holding the pen at. Uh, also, you know, depending on the, uh, the speed at which I was making a stroke, I was able to get some uh, varying line weights. This was a seven minute drawing session, and as you can see, I didn't have to dip the pen a second time this, this whole time. So the nib really holds the ink well. In this second sample, I'm using Deleter's Manga Paper and using the same ink and again, this is just another example of how well the nib holds the ink. I was able to complete this entire drawing without having to dip the nib a second time into the ink bottle. And again, you can see the different line weights I was able to get out of the pen. You know, when using a dip pen, that's really what I'm looking for is, you know, line weight uh, variation and character. Um, your typical felt pen doesn't give you much of that. And so I was happy to see, uh, you know, consistency in the line quality, but still some variation in the line weight. You can also see how this nib stacks up against traditional nibs there. Cleaning the nib is pretty easy. I typically use a toothpaste, uh, toothbrush and toothpaste, and that just removes dried bits of ink and any oil from my hand that may have made its way to the nib, which typically inhibits ink flow. So finally, there's the cost factor, and it is definitely a factor with this pen. At the time of making this video, the Drill Log 0.5 millimeter nib is selling for around 120 bucks, and all of their pen barrels sell for around 100 bucks. So, you know, it's a pricey pen, but to be fair, Drillog isn't really marketing themselves to the starving artist, you know, as much as they are to the fountain pen junkie, you know, and this really is a beautiful piece of engineering. So if you're into that sort of thing, I think you'll really appreciate this pen. Otherwise, you're not, you're not really missing out on anything that your typical sort of traditional dip pen drawing nib will provide you with. But I personally am enjoying this pen and, and see myself using it a lot in my work. Thanks again to Drill Log for sending these samples and I hope you have enjoyed this video.